Not too long ago, we all looked something like this. A single cell. That cell then multiplied. Two became four, and four became eight. And roughly nine months later, we were born. An organism with trillions of cells. In this video, we're going to be talking about mitosis. Mitosis is how organisms grow, repair, and replace their cells. So let's start with a basic cell. And we're going to focus on the nucleus. In here, we have chromosomes which are paired up. In total, our cells have 23 pairs of chromosomes. In a pair, one chromosome comes from the mother and one comes from the father. Before the cell does mitosis, it has to replicate everything so that the two new cells have the same amount of material. This means that the chromosomes have to replicate as well. So now the chromosomes look like this. One arm is called the sister chromatid. The two sister chromatids are exact copies of one another. They are held together at the centromere. Okay, now we're ready for mitosis. So the first thing that happens is that the nucleus breaks down and all the chromosomes are now released into the cytoplasm of the cell. Next, the chromosomes are going to line up down the middle of the cell in single file. Then, these subcellular structures, also known as centrioles, are going to move to opposite poles of the cell. They're going to release cell fibres. So you could think of these guys like little spider-mans. They're going to shoot fibres at the chromosomes. Then, they're going to pull back and separate the two sister chromatids. Eventually, you'll have two sets of chromosomes which are both identical. A nuclear envelope forms around each set of chromosomes. And two new nuclei are made. Next, the cell is going to divide into two. This process is called cytokinesis. Eventually, we'll see that we have two identical cells. Both have 23 pairs of chromosomes and both are genetically identical. This is mitosis. Hey guys, if that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.